Okay, folks, for the last couple of days, we've seen small earthquakes in strange places all over the United States, and that's continuing today. Last night in the UK, we had an interesting incident where both pilots of an aircraft became dazed and disoriented just a few minutes after takeoff and had to return to the terminal. There was a man who died of bird flu in Swaziland, and folks, remember the earthquake activity in the uh, Western Pacific has been increasing. Well, it uh, is increasing even more. We had a 6.6 .6 last night just off the Solomon Islands. Folks, this feels a lot like what happened about a decade ago when we were uh, at war with Afghanistan and the propaganda came out against Iraq. Not saying I have all the answers, certainly not that arrogant, but this feels exactly the same. You might remember yesterday that this little spot in between the two larger ones actually developed a delta classification. It only lasted about three hours yesterday as this active region was morphing quickly, and as you can see now, it's actually coalesced with the spot to the left. It has just a beta classification and is turning a limb. Let's have a look at the solar wind telemetry from ACE. Now, the solar wind speed and the solar wind density are both slightly above uh, average, which is strange because we are not getting hit with any space weather right now. You can actually look a bit uh, above to the red and the blue, and you can see that our interplanetary magnetic field is actually having uh, a little bit of a minor disturbance from this ambient space weather. Uh, very strange considering that there's no coronal mass ejections, we haven't had any flares or anything like that, but it's even creating a bit of a disturbance, a uh, small one on our fluxgate magnetometer, the KP index hasn't been zero for days, and despite only that slight a disturbance in the magnetic layer, look how juiced up our F1 critical frequency is. And just to give you an idea, at this time of year, looking at the predicted values, we're not supposed to be registering anything at all. So we're pretty juiced up, folks. All those magnetic filaments are still tethered to the sun, uh, could become unstable. Let's watch for that today. And that little dark coronal hole that's turning uh, towards the center of the sun will be uh, hitting us with a strong solar wind stream in uh, four to five days. That's the news, folks. Be safe.